Have you ever handed your iPhone or iPad to your kids for a moment and then found them scrolling through your messages or accidentally deleting precious photos? <laughs> Trust me, we've all been there. But don't worry, because in this video, I've got some handy tips to keep your kids out of your private messages and photos when they play with your phone. Let's get started. Let's talk about your passcode. First, let me know in the comments if your kids or grandkids know how to unlock your phone. If they don't, you can skip to the next section. But if they do, then the first step to keeping your messages and photos private is changing that code to something they don't know. With the passcode, kids can enable or disable many of the protections you put in place to keep them safe. So really quick, go to Settings, Passcode. If you have Face ID, it'll say Face ID and Passcode. If you have Touch ID, it'll say Touch ID and Passcode. Enter the current code that unlocks your phone. Scroll down and tap on Change Passcode. Enter your current code, then enter the new code and confirm it by entering it a second time. Be sure you remember this new unlock code. If you forget it, you won't be able to get back into your phone. Instead, you'll have to erase it and set it back to factory defaults. Now that you've taken this step, let's talk about what's next. You might have been expecting me to talk about screen time, which is where most parental control features live on iPhone and iPad. But the short answer is that screen time doesn't give you the ability to lock message apps or hide photos. So instead, we're gonna talk about guided access. Guided access, sometimes called single app mode, allows you to limit your device to a single app. You can open your kid's favorite game and enable guided access to keep them from leaving the app while they have your phone. With guided access on, notifications are suppressed and your kid can only use the app that's open. That means they can't go snooping around on your phone and they can't go exploring your photo library. Open settings, accessibility, then scroll down and tap on guided access. Tap the switch to turn guided access on. If you notice that the switch is already enabled, you may have used guided access in the past and may have already saved a code associated with it. To forget the old code, tap the switch to turn guided access off and then tap the switch to turn it back on again. The old guided access code is now forgotten. Now, Follow me to the next step. Tap accessibility shortcut to enable it, then tap display auto lock to set how long before the phone locks. Now tap passcode settings and tap the switch to enable face ID or touch ID. This option will allow you to end a guided access session by double clicking the wake sleep button and then using your face or finger to end it. Tap set guided access passcode to set one now. Otherwise, the first time you use guided access, you'll be prompted to set an unlock code specifically for it. This code can be different than the code that unlocks your iPhone or iPad, and it probably should be different in case the kiddos learn your device's new unlock code. Start guided access by opening the app you want your kid to stay in and then triple click the wake sleep button. Before starting the session, you may wish to tap options to choose whether you want some of the buttons to work or whether there should be a time limit. Then tap start. Notice that no amount of swiping or clicking will cause the app to close. To turn off guided access, double click the side button to end it with your face or finger or triple click the side button to end it with the guided access code. If you ever forget the guided access code, you can go to Settings, Accessibility, Guided Access, and turn it off. When you next turn Guided Access on, it'll ask you to set a new code. It's important to note that no security measure is foolproof, and it's always a good idea to regularly monitor your child's activities. And when the time is right, it's good to have open conversations about online behavior and privacy. This wraps up how to keep your messages and photos private while letting your kids or grandkids play with your phone. Drop your tech questions in the comments, Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.